This video is for those who wanted to see how I made the mounting brackets for the Calvary Spur shadow box. If you missed that video, you can watch it here. First, let me say, I got really lucky with this. I had contemplated a few different ways to make these mounts, but in my head this seemed like it would work the best so I gave it a shot. I think the results turned out great and it looks very professional. The cost was nothing as it was made from the leftover plexiglass that was cut for the spur. Taking calipers, I took measurements on both sides of the handle of the knife. I marked them on the plexiglass with a sharpie and then I completed the oval freehand. I took my oval to the drill press. I chose a spade bit that was almost the same size. The size I chose was just a tad bit smaller, but I think that turned out good because it made for a tighter fit around the handle. After one side was drilled out, I just moved it over a bit and continued with the second half of the oval. Make sure you have your plexiglass clamped down or this could get pretty ugly really quick. So with the sanding stone on a Dremel, I removed the rest of the plexiglass until I was flush with the black line I had drawn. I just kept repeating this process until the handle slid all the way down to the cross guard and I had a nice fit. I then took a scrap piece of the foam board that I use as the mounting board in the shadow box and I used its width as a gauge so I knew how long the mount needed to be. With a ruler, I drew straight lines so I could cut out the rest of the mount. Although I drew a straight line at the top, the top would actually follow the curvature of the oval. I then simply took it to the bandsaw and cut out the mount. To ensure each cut was straight, I used the fence. Once that was done, I pulled out my drill bit set and looked for a drill bit that was the same width as the plexiglass. Smaller is better here, as our next cut will work great if it is really tight. Taking a scrap piece from the mount you cut earlier, lay it flat, place your mount on it and mark both ends. Then with a ruler, connect your lines. Add one more line the same distance away from the mount as the other side. With the drill bit you picked out earlier, slowly drill holes all the way across your line. I mounted a Dremel mandrel bit into my drill press so I would have less movement. Check your fit and make adjustments where necessary. Press your mount into the base you just cut. Make sure that the bottom is flush and then with some super glue, glue it into place. I had mini tubes that I got from Everything's Dollar, so I used the whole tube on it. Then let it sit without touching anything until it dries. For the tip of the knife, I will repeat this process that we just did. I will make a line, dremel it out, and continue to check it at the tip of the knife until it is at a tight point at the tip. It will slide it up at least 25%, but it will still be tight where the knife will not wiggle. Take your knife and place it in the box. Make a mark at the guard directly onto the foam board. Discount double check that your knife is centered before you do this. Take the mark you just made and with a razor cut out the width of the plexiglass. Then take your mount and on the underside of the foam board trace out the base of your mount directly onto the foam board. Once that is done, cut the line so you can indent the space where your mount will be seated. Once I made my cut, I took a flathead screwdriver and pressed in the indentions all the way around the board. Then to ensure the center was compressed enough, I took a bar clamp and squeezed it together. I used the same process to cut out the mount for the tip of the knife. Once that is done, place the knife on a piece of foam board and check your width. If you need to shave off a little bit from your mount, do it before you glue it into the base. Place the piece into position and make sure the knife is parallel. The application of the felt is shown in more detail in the original spur shadow box video. To this point, both my brackets are very snug, so I'm not really worried about the knife moving. But just because I like overkill, I have cut a small piece to go behind the blade of the knife. And in essence, the knife will be resting on this, but it will also give the knife more support in case the shadow box is subject to a long car ride because this knife is really heavy and a lot of vibrations might change things. 
I simply took a small piece of foam board and placed red duct tape over it. Once the shadow box is put together, it will be impossible to see this piece anyway. With the felt now dry, I take a small razor and cut a small slit in the felt where the mount will stick through. Here I use Elmer's glue and place it in the mount indention. Then press your mount through the foam board and wipe up any glue that is on the mount. Switching back to wood glue, put down a healthy coat and then place your foam board into position. Place some weight on the foam board to ensure good contact between the back plate and the display board is met. Repeat the same process, cut out the slit for your mount, put the glue down, put the mount through the slit, and then press into place and make sure all glue is wiped up. Now place your knife support in place and then apply your wood glue to the second side of the display board. Slide your knife in place and place your display board in position. Place weight on it and allow it to dry and you're done. These mounts came out great. They look professional and custom made. Hey, wait a minute, they are custom made. I think they can be built for anything in a shadow box. If you attempt this, let me know how it works for you. I think it's pretty easy and I give it a two on a difficulty level. As always, thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button.